Normally, the portraits we create using playground AI are often emotionless and dull, just like these portraits. In this playground AI tutorial, I will teach you how to add emotions to your beautiful portraits just like this. Hello amazing people, I am Vishwa and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Without further delay, let's get started. So this is a playground AI. You can check the link in the description of this video. To access the board or editor, you need to click on this. You can see at the right hand side this arrow and on a board. So we can say it as a board or an editor. So if you are watching my previous video, so you know this already. So the filter we are going to use is delicate detail, which is actually shows the delicate detail and it creates realistic portraits. So in prompt, I will just paste the prompt I have already copied. This is a prompt portrait of a woman, analog style, close up, painted background, soft lighting. If you want, you can use different prompt or you can use the same prompt. I will provide the prompt in the description. Exclude from image. So I will just add the negative prompt here. I'll just paste. So uh, to make our image look better, it should not look ugly, uh, extra faces, hands. If you don't want that things to happen, so you need to add this negative prompt. In image to image, I'm not adding anything now. Uh, control threads this is a new feature which is added in playground so i'm planning to make video on this topic so let me know in the comment section if you want video on this topic or not model we are going to use obviously playground v1 because playground v1 is very good with the portraits as i already told in the last video so do watch my last video which is on the playground v1 model Image dimensions, uh, I'm taking 512 into 768 for portraits. Uh, prompt guidance, uh, 14 only. Quality and details, 50. I'll just tick here. Sampler, I'm going to use as usual, Euler Ancestral. And number of images, 4. I'm just enabling private session so that only you can see your images. So now we have done the basic settings. So you also do the same setting in the starting later you can explore. Now I'm just clicking on generate. So this is a basic prompt we added here. We have not added any emotions here. Let's see the result and window. So can you see the result we got here is very neutral. There is no emotions on the face. The result is good but there is no emotion. So to add the emotion, what we need to do simply, we just need to add that particular word. So it's on you, like what kind of emotions you want to show on your portrait. So that word uh, we need to add in prompt. So I'm just writing here, happy, comma, and now click on generate. So portrait of a woman, happy, analog style, close up, painted background, soft lighting. So we have used here close up. We are getting the close up images of face. So this is what we got. This is better than the earlier. A normal smile uh, we can see, but not that much visible. I'll just add more word here, smiling. Now generate. Yeah, can you see? The results are very good. So she's smiling now. She's looking happy now. Before we just use happy, so uh, that did not make uh, that much effect. But now we just added the smiling and see the results are really good. Also, you can see the results are uh, realistic because we are using the delicate detail, which are particularly to make the images realistic. I'm liking it. If you want any particular image, you can just download just by clicking on download. And uh, here in actions, so uh, here if you want to upscale the image to make the image better by 4x, you can just click on this upscale by 4x. It is getting upscaled. I'll just download the image now. And this is the result. Can you see? So likewise, you can also download. In actions, you can see different features. So if you want to know about all these features, 
so for that i have already uploaded one detailed tutorial on playground ai so you can watch that video you can find the link in the i button or the description of this video so now let's change the prompt let's try different emotion laughing this is our new prompt i'll just click on generate so portrait of woman laughing brunette painted background soft lighting yeah so you can see our images are now laughing and the result is really impressive you can see the detailing the the realism so what i did i just add the word laughing and playground ai made our image laughing uh, now you can see the background is gray and dark so if you want to change the background so simply what we can do in negative prompts we can just gray and dark background and now generate yeah so you can see the change the images are more focused now more brighter so if you want you can do the same i'll just add one more word giggling laughing giggling or i can just keep the word giggling okay i just remove the laughing now generate portrait of woman giggling brunette painted background soft lighting so i just added the giggling uh, word here and the portraits are giggling now so you can see the difference between the laughing and giggling it is clearly visible impressive right let's try different emotion so we are trying now sad emotion uh, i just changed the prompt i'll click on generate so this is our prompt portrait of woman sad face upset blonde brunette painted background soft lighting yeah so you can see she's looking sad this is good result so if i just remove the upset i just removed upset and now clicking on generate so can you see the difference between earlier result with the sad face and upset and this is with just sad face so to make it more impactful we need to add more than uh, one words like i had added here sad face after that upset so we got these images which are more impactful than this right so you can experiment like this but the results are really amazing let's try different emotion angry i just copy pasted the prompt and now i'll just click on generate portrait of woman angry crunch face brunette painted background soft lighting yeah so angry crunch face you can see we got this result and her face is crunched she is looking angry so this is really amazing by the way if you are liking this video do like and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you you are so kind we can try different filter as well like delicate detail create the realistic images but if you want to create the animated images so for that we can use this lush illumination filter this is very good for that I already show you about this filter in the last video if you haven't watched you can watch it yeah can you see this is so beautiful images so lush illumination creates really beautiful animated images you can see these images are showing more emotions than this like this was the uh, delicate detail filter and this is lush illumination let's change the prompt let's play with the crying emotion and keeping the same filter we'll just click on generate portrait of woman crying sobbing painted background soft lighting so this is what we got the result this is good well, i'll change the filter back to the delicate detail and now generate not good i'll just click on generate again so same thing if you are not liking something some images you are not liking you did not get the expected output so you can simply regenerate 
which you know already so here this is the good image the problem here i can see only that uh, the color of eye drops is not the like real i'll just uh, keep the crying and generate yeah So this is good output. Let's add a more thing with crying. Uh, I'll just paste the prompt. Generate portrait of woman crying, crunch face, red head, red nose, painted background, and soft lighting. Yeah. So these two are good images. These two you can see. We. Uh, we put here red head, they made the, their hair red. But anyways, if we remove it, so that will go. This is good output. This is also good output. So you can play with this prompt and can make the changes. So we have covered all the basic emotions like crying, happy, smiling, angry, upset. Likewise, if you want to change the hairstyle, eye color, position of the portrait, so you can do that easily. I'm just changing the prompt. So this is our new prompt. I'll just click on generate portrait of woman giggling elegant hairstyle painted background soft lighting. Just I have added here elegant hairstyle. If you want any particular hairstyle, so you can put that name of the hairstyle there. Yeah, so you can see we got really pretty images. Elegant hairstyle. Wow, really impressive and so realistic as well. Same we can try with the uh, Lush Illumination. Yeah. So these are beautiful. These are also beautiful. I'll just remove this grey and dark background uh, uh, from negative prompts for uh, Lush Illumination filter. Okay. And just click on generate. Can you see? We can see the change. So these are very good images. With elegant hairstyle. We can add uh, like um, elegant hairstyle after that blue eyes. Sitting. Generate. Impressive result. Isn't it? So blue eyes, we got the elegant hairstyle. After that, the portrait is, the girl is sitting. So, really good. If you don't like, you can just click on regenerate. I'll just uh, change the filter back to delicate detail and generate. Yeah. Can you see? These are so realistic images. Wow so elegant so likewise changes you can do according to your need you can add the color of the eyes after that the position clothes what you want to make your portrait here that you can do everything i'll just add the uh, image in image to image and we'll show you creating portraits so i'll just get this image Okay, so I have added the reference image. Now I'll just click on generate. Let's see with this prompt what kind of result we get. Yeah, can you see we got really pretty result. Elegant hairstyle, blue eyes, sitting. This is impressive. I really like it. Now, if you want to make your image look like or closer to this reference image, we need to increase the image strength. So, I'll just make it uh, 65, 66. Our portraits are getting closer to this image, you can see. And this is really beautiful. Our images are copying the hand gesture and the position of the reference image. Obviously, it will do because we added an image to image. So, I like these results. So likewise, you can make the changes in your portraits. Uh, what if, if we make it 90? 
very close to our image now. So likewise you can do. I will remove this image from image to image. We'll try different prompt. I just paste the prompt. If you want to create the portrait of uh, any celebrity or any well-known person, so you can just put the name of that person here and you can add the prompt. Uh, now I'll just click on generate. What is the prompt? Scarlett Johnson, happy, analog style, portrait, sitting down, painted background, soft lighting. Yeah. And you can see the images are actually looking like Scarlett. So we got this amazing result. I'll just add here gray and dark background because we are using delicate detail and now generate. So we got these impressive images you can see. This is so beautiful. So I like this image. I'll just remove this uh, position sitting down. I'll uh, add more emotion, happy, smiling. Yeah, so you can see now she's happy, she's smiling and these are better images with emotions. So likewise you can create the portrait of any famous celebrity and add the emotion, position, eye color according to what you want. We can uh, change the filter also, dash illumination, generate. Impressive result are yeah. impressive result. This is also very good. So there are other filter like black and white or royalistic. So you can try this filter as well. They are also good filter with the uh, playground fee one. Let's try one more portrait of other famous personality. I just pasted the prompt. Just click on generate. So close up portrait of Elon Musk. Happy analog style portrait sitting down painted background soft lighting. Yeah, so this is what we got. Yeah, pretty good result. Not great, but it's a good. Uh, the eyes are not uh, good. We can try with the uh, delicate detail generate. Yeah, this is better. You can upscale if you want clear image. Changed the prompt, generate. These are uh, really good images. Better than this, okay. These are really good images, you can see. So amazing. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this result of Elon Musk. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to show your support by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Also, I am considering making a part 2 of this video where I will show you how to add more complex emotions like surprise, love, guilt, excitement and so on. So let me know in the comment section if you would like to see that. After watching this video, you have learned how to create beautiful portraits with emotions. Now you can even create a talking AI avatar using your favorite portrait by clicking on the video on the left or you can check out other videos from the playground AI playlist by clicking on the video on the right. Thank you so much for watching.